Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 46 of Let's Play as the Jews in CK2. So we have we finally have the opportunity to go up to to Medium Crown Law. Um I'd like to to try to end this series kind of soon. Do have some dangerous factions. It's to be expected. We just came into power. I mean, I didn't say it was gonna be a cakewalk. But we do have an inherent plus 50 bonus opinion because of state diplomacy and elective monarchy. So, harsh feudal tax is probably the only thing that this character can't support. Previous character was 80 and had like a plus 40 long reign bonus going, so he could easily afford to, to tax the crap out of everyone. So I think the first call of action, first thing we're going to do as a, as a new ruler is we're going to just sit on our war chest, we're going to get rid of vassal taxation. Feudal, vac feudal vassal ta ta taxation, which will improve everyone's opinion of us by plus 30. That means that we're going to be in a good spot. Prisoners, though, I think we do need to find and capture a count. And then release him for plus 10. And the Caliph is quickly losing hold of his uh, Duchy of Syria here. Oh. Looks like the Abbasid army is, uh, is trying to respond. We've got a, a sufficient force. Uh, nope. Actually, looks like we did lose that one. That's fine, though. And time for an ambition. How about we try to have a son? Why not? Couldn't hurt to have some fertility, right? He's going to go to Sinjar, then probably over to there. So let's get ready to reinforce. Yep, as I expected. That scared him away. We're at 47% now. This battle is going to be pretty significant. 53%. I think we will chase it. Now he's trying to go to there, so we reinforce and rally in that direction. Scares him away. Now we stop again. Go there. That scares him away, most likely. Nope, he's still coming. Nope, now he's changed his mind again. Now he's coming. Now he's changed his mind again. Now he's going in a different direction. Just killed some Emir. Killing his army, the you know, battles doesn't seem to really help us much. So we really just need to focus on occupation. Um, I do think we'll just assault the last little bit down there. And these are getting sieged, so it's just a matter of time now. This is the entirety of my army, I think. 23,000. That's really it. Or do we have more somewhere else? Ah, it's over here. Should we try to rally this over? I think so. Luristan. So we have a significant army here. He can't seem to decide where to attack from. He's combined it. I'm heading back up to Mosul. Now he's not. Alright, so we don't want to rally this army directly next to it, because that'll just get it attacked. So we'll come a little bit further south, a county away. And I think once these next three holdings fall, he'll probably surrender. Looks like he is possibly trying to sneak this army. So let's just back it off again, go through the mountains. Either that or he's trying to get over to this vassal that's rebelling, because this is probably the, the major threat to the succession for him right now. So, I mean, he is trying to get down here. I'm just kind of bothering him. I'm just in the way. And we actually were able to rush him up to 100% there. So we just end the war. Thank you for your generous donation. Appreciate it, Mr. Caliph. You're not a very good Caliph. You've already lost, lo already lost a bunch of land. 
How dare you? Your forefathers would be ashamed. I have a bastard cousin who actually has pretty good diplomacy. Or stewardship, sorry. I can't speak today, there's something wrong with me. Okay, so hopefully while this rebellion is still continuing, since he is he's winning it, but it's still an opportunity for us. Um, we just need to, uh, we're just gonna disband them where they stand. But now we need to declare war on this guy. We've already fought his army once. So we just declare holy war on him. Recombine again. Um, Re-raise our personal levy at least. Try to get it back down here. And now we just try to go and... Get this touchy too. And worst case scenario, that happens. The white piece. Nope, don't disband that. So he didn't want to surrender. Why do we own this? He didn't want to lose to me, so he just white pieced with the Caliph. So the Caliph is at peace now. And nobody seems to want to kill him. I'm really tempted to try to assassinate him, but the problem is that if I do that and we die, this, this character is really good. I really don't want to lose him. Um, we could... Uh, we need a little bit more money, a little bit more prestige than we could actually declare war. Let's let's hold off for a feast or something. I wish you guys stop plotting. Stop trying to kill me, you stupid woman. Why are you people actually... Why do you hate me so much? Rival. Oh god, we were rivals when we were kids, apparently. And you're not even that upset with me. It's tyrannical to try to plot. I know she's part of the plot, but it's tyrannical for me to imprison her. Independence faction is actually at 96% right now. Which is uh, not good. That means that it's going to fire. You know what we could really use right now is a... Um, like a, a Sunni or Jewish rebellion or whatever it's called. So most of these guys are pretty happy with us, actually, but because of the short reign, we're just still dealing with the issue. And the fact that I'm just a king, not an emperor. So I can't have king vassals, which makes it messy. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do what we can. Let's go through and send gifts to all the people who are part of the faction. Unless they want just absolutely stupendous amounts of money. You know what would be amazing is if... You know in the EU4 interface? Where if there's like re rebels, there's a revolt risk. It'll list out all the people and give you convenient little buttons. Like they should do that interface with send gift. So you could just see like... Instead of seeing it horizontally like... You know, click on click on the independence faction, and then it would be a vertical list with imprison, send gift, send chancellor, whatever, like different ways that you could deal with it. That seems like that would be really cool. And I was reading on the forums about it, somebody was saying, like, uh, oh, we need this, this, and this, and it would make the game so much better. And some people were complaining, saying... You're just trying to make the game automatic. Like, it's, it's more fun when you have to... F it, that's what it was about, like... They wanted a better way to search for character traits. Like, I want to search for genius women. And, you know, I want to be able to search for diligent or whatever. And somebody was saying that that was just going to make the game too easy. You're supposed to try to find things. And I, I agreed with the counter argument, which was that making a, a game being more complicated, like things that take time are not inherently good. They don't make the game better. Like having to search for a wife in a huge table of uh, potential characters does not make the game better. What makes the game better is like actual interactive gameplay. So I, th I totally agree that they should implement a character like an advanced character finder so that it's not just search like have, have you ever f tried to use the find character by name? No, it's always about traits. So why can't we say, you know, 
these are the traits that they have to have, like a filter. I mean, they already provide some filters, you know? Why can't we get more? So hopefully that fires in time. Uh, all those things actually make a difference in time before the faction fires, because I'd really hate to deal with a faction right now. Faction still at 89%. It could still fire. The Caliph has just instituted medium. And there goes the faction. Faction's gone. All that it took was a little bit of money. This is why it's good to have a war chest when you're expecting succession. The independence faction completely disappeared, in fact. From 90% power or like strength to gone. Now this character should actually be very good at plotting against other people, even though his own intrigue is really low, since his state stewardship is, or state diplomacy is so high, people will like plotting. They will be more likely to like him. The Ecumenical Patriarch is actually not willing to plan to plot against that Caliph. We have six children who need guardians. Jeez. All right, well, if you're a male, you get a military leader. If you're female, then you get diplomacy. And that way we can use them for the future generations. They don't actually give any opinion bonus. I'm just hopefully going to have more characters that have level 4 educations. And since the realm is quite stable, I think we will go up to medium crown authority. Just got it stabilized, of course, but... As soon as that short reign penalty goes away, it'll, it'll be easy. Plus, once we get prestige up to 2,000, getting 12 per month right now. And some courtier is dead. My uncle's wife, actually. She was strong. Did not pass it on. Alright, take that one. And we can actually get some prestige out of this marriage, since he's technically my heir. And I want, I think, to do... Passover soon. Let's do the tournament. Why not? A little bit of prestige would be nice. Anything we can do to get up to 2,000. We'll celebrate Passover in April. We can celebrate Passover at the at the tournament. Alright, so, yeah, this character is doing just fine. I mean, raised crown law is going to be a penalty that this guy has for a while. Should. Incre yeah, there it is. Increase crown authority. But, um, that's fine. That helps out as well. And then the other thing I want to do is the feast. Because that'll give us extra diplomacy, which will maybe get some more people on board. And I, again, I, I'm not really looking forward to the idea of trying to assassinate him. Because if he, he counter-assassinates me, then we lose this really strong diplomatic character. So instead, I think we just have to wait for opportunities to attack him. Like right now, man, this would be a great opportunity to attack this guy, but we don't border him. How can we border you?
Well, we could just break the truce. That's one way of doing it. We're still quite low on diplomacy, or on uh, prestige, so it's not that big of a deal. We lose five diplomacy for five years, but we've got 25. That seems perfectly reasonable. That's the easiest way to do it. Let's just break the truce. Let's take Damascus, I think, is actually one of our target duchies, isn't it? Jerusalem. Oh, actually, it's not. So it's just Jerusalem that we need. All right. Well, Damascus actually lets us border Jerusalem, though. And it's quite large. Okay. Mr. Caliph, man. I want Damascus, please. Cost me quite a bit of prestige, but it must be done. Raise the men. We still have lots of independent little counts. I should probably create more duchies. This looks pretty good. I might have to tend to it. Not having coat of arms is really annoying. Yeah, like this duchy. Can we create this duchy, please? Usurp it? That's fine. We'll, we'll get them all done eventually. Even this new Duchy of Syria I should probably create. And that gives us our prestige right back. Hmm. Merv? It's already a... See, I'm, it's like really just throwing me off. I cannot see the, the darn little flags. That helps. And probably more up here that we can make. This one would be good. I have to usurp it. Can't. This one we'd have to usurp and we can't. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to take this duchy and then hopefully we'll still be able to take any of this and go from there. So I'm going to take a break here, and I'll see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.